What is up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video we're gonna be talking about and kind of doing a review of my 350Z. Uh, it's been on the channel for a little over a year now and a lot of you guys have seen it, but for those who haven't seen it, we'll go ahead and walk around the car a little bit and I'll show you guys some of the mods that the car has before we actually jump in the car and drive it. So here she is, my 08 Nissan 350Z. Uh, it's the HR setup. So other than that, like the car is pretty simple. Um, I literally have not done anything to the outside cosmetically, like it came the way it was. Uh, I actually did pick up this Evo Carbon R front lip. A lot of people ask me what front lip this is, but I actually got it from the previous owner. So this thing, like seriously, is it literally complements the front end of the car. Um, other than that, I bought the car with the SSRs. I am selling those, so anybody that wants them, definitely hit, hit me up on Instagram or something like that and uh, I'll give you a good deal on them. But SSRs, and the only thing that I've really done to the car is uh, I put suspension mods onto it. So I put coilovers and all that. We'll get into that later on in the video. Um, but that's pretty much it. Like it, the car hasn't changed too much. Um, I actually did tint the windows because it was like a fishbowl. Um, other than that guys, like this is my 350Z. Um, and like I said, it hasn't changed too much cosmetically over the last uh, year that I've had it. But So let's go ahead and go drive it. Gotta let it warm up a little bit. Z's like the, the transmission in these things and the whole drivetrain in these things, like they, they really have to be warmed up, especially because it's getting colder now. So I think it's probably like 55 degrees outside right now. They, they love to be like super warm to be able to like shift all the way through the gears. Those of you that probably have Z's like know what I'm talking about, but uh, she's pretty much all warmed up now. So, but all I wanted to talk about today is like kind of like a review of my car because I've had my car, this Z for over a little bit a year now. And um, just basically I wanted to walk through all the modifications that I've done to the car because uh, I haven't done too much uh, to the car, um, just stuff for the track, and so I was able to drift the car, and I was able to, um, I really want to take it out to Road to Land and everything, but just some stuff that it, re it really needed right off the bat. So getting into some of that, uh, what I did right off the bat was I got an exhaust, because these things always needed, I, I think, I personally, in my, my opinion, I love single exit exhaust on 350Zs. 370Zs, I feel like you could do single or uh, dual exhaust. I really like the single exit, so I went with the Z1 single exit exhaust. If you guys haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. The thing sounds fantastic, and uh, other than that, like I have cats and stock Y pipe on the car, and it's it's perfectly loud for me. Like I don't want to do test pipes or even Y pipe on this thing um, because it's just it's just way too loud. They get way too trumpety, and uh, so the Z1 was perfect for me. <laughs> That's literally the first mod that I did like within the first week is put that Z1 single exit on. The next thing that I did was I got, I went to suspension. So I picked myself up some uh, BC coils, uh, the BR series, because I, I love BC coilovers. Um, you know, some people hate them and love them. It's a love-hate relationship. I love them personally. I run BCs in all of my cars. Uh, so I, I love, I love BC. Shout out to you guys. Like you guys make some really, really dope coilovers. So I threw some uh, BC coilovers on and then with the Z's in the front, if you want to do any camber, like these, the, the 350Z, you have to have an upper control arm in order to get any different like camber adjustment on, on these cars. So I went with all Z1 uh, upper control arms. I got toe arms and I also got camber arms for this car. So the, the car is completely, the suspension is pretty much all um, done up. So it has the coilovers and all those suspension arms that I just named. And I installed those and the car is like pretty stout now. The next thing that I did was I got a diff brace, which Bell Race Raceworks, I believe that's the company that makes the diff brace for these cars. It's wild. Like best investment that I've probably ever made is getting the diff brace for this car because it stiffens up the whole entire like drivetrain of the car. Like when you're shifting, it, it just feels so much smoother. So that was definitely like the probably one of the coolest mods that I did. Um, because I actually felt it right away after I started driving the car again. Man, I just love how this car drives, honestly. Like, I've had the car for just over a year now, and um, all I have to say is, like, the Z is such a driver's car, honestly, and, like, the way that the cockpit is set up, like, I love the way that Nissan did the 350Z. Let's do a little uh, second gear pull here. I love the 
the, the HR motor. So this is an 08, like I said before. Um, and like, it just revs out beyond belief. It's, it's so amazing. Pretty much like I was saying before, my car is an 08. So it's the, the HR motor. It's the touring package, so you, you can tell like, so the touring, I think the touring package came with, this car has the black leather interior, which is pretty cool because I've seen a lot of Zs and I haven't seen them with black leather. They usually have tan leather with this color combo. Um, so I'm pretty stoked I got the leather interior. And also a big thing that I, I really wanted as well is uh, this comes factory with the LSD in the back. So I didn't have to go put, like a lot of people do the Nismo rear end in these things, which maybe like later on down the road, uh, if this thing goes, I'll probably do that, it, which is the, the 370. They usually put the 370 rear end in, in these, which is, those are like really, really sturdy. So also did for the track and everything, because I do like, you know, mountain runs and I, I do track days and drifting and all that too. So I wanted to get some good or better brakes than the stock brakes on here. So I still have like stock brakes. I don't have the Brembos um, that come on these cars stock on different like uh, trim levels, but I did go with uh, Stop Tech slotted rotors and also Stop Tech pads on the car, like all around. And also uh, installed some um, stainless steel lines on the car too. Uh, just for it's the car stops so much better with um, the braking mods uh, Just with those simple braking mods like it's just rotors and pads and everything with stainless steel lines So that made a big Like improvement on the car actually did get RPF ones for the car. So um, My I guess my track wheels you could say are the RPF ones which are 18 by 10 and a half all around I'm running like a 285 on those and then the car did come with, I guess, you know, hot boy style wheels, which are the SSRs. I'm still actually trying to sell those, but they're actually on the car right now, which you guys saw. Um, and those are just like, they have 275 tires all around. It's kind of too big for the front because it rubs a lot um, on the front, like fenders and everything. Big bump. Oh, scraped. So literally the only con that I actually have ever had with the Z so far, and like, I. I do a lot of maintenance on my cars. I take care of them, but I do beat on them, like driving them. Cause like, if I buy a car, like literally that's what I buy it for is I want to drive it. So I've drifted my car. Um, I haven't taken it to road Atlanta yet, but I want to, or like even just a track day. But I mean, I on the street, I do drive my car pretty hard, but the only thing that I had wrong was, you know, a lot of disease have oil pressure issues. So it was the oil galley gaskets and Basically, like I just took it over to counter here if they're a local shop I really didn't want to do it's like an 18 hour job to do the oil galley gasket So um, I got them to do that because the oil pressure was pretty low. Sorry you guys probably can't see me I'm under a bridge right now, which hold on. Let's just let's just let's, let's roll down the windows and let's hear this thing Oh, oh Z1 single exit So good. Anyways, let's talk about the oil galley gasket. So this I don't know why Nissan did this in these motors, but from factory, they made the oil galley gas, it's like plastic. Uh, so yeah, when the car hits 90,000 miles or however much, like they just break down and corrode and break apart. And then that's why you have low oil pressure. So my, my Z had pretty much, it was sitting around like 12 PSI, which is like, it's not good. Like your car should be idling around like 30. So I, what happens is like, you basically just put aftermarket ones in and you replace them with metal oil galley gaskets so they don't break down over time. So I, I did that and that's literally the only issue that I've had with this car, which is which is pretty fantastic. Lower these windows down and let her rip.
third. Oh, it's so nice. And then third gear in this car just pulls. But yeah, guys, that pretty much concludes today's video. I just wanted to give you guys kind of like a, a walk around of my car, everything that I've had on it, because I really haven't done it for the channel and like since I've had the car for a year now. But uh, definitely give it a big thumbs up, uh, this video a big thumbs up if you liked the Z content and everything. I have a lot more coming. I think the next couple of videos I'm going to do uh, POV driving and um, also going to be doing some like hard pulls or something like that. But it's getting a lot colder here now too, so I love colder weather, which is amazing. Like sweatshirt weather that I'm like wearing right now, windows down. I'm sure a lot of you can relate with me. I, I love that. Like there's, I guess... If I had my boosted cars back, like it's boost weather right now, as a lot of people say. So other than that, guys, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that notification button. Comment down below if you have any questions about the car or if you have a Z, I would love to see it. Throw it on your Instagram. But as always, GPG, peace out, guys, and see you in the